When was the last time you made a difference in this world? That sounds big, right? Like campaigning for class president. Or feeding every single hungry person in your town. Or running a marathon in support of ending cancer. Those are great things, big things. But the truth is, you don't have to do big things to make a difference. No person is an island. Well, not quite like that. It means that all of us, every single kid and grown up in this world, are connected. Everything you do, no matter how small, can affect someone else. You made a difference to your family this morning just by waking up. Good morning. Since you're going to make a difference no matter what you do, choose to make a difference for good. You make a difference for good when you say thanks to your mom for making your lunch. When you let another kid get in line ahead of you. When you get on FaceTime with grandma instead of playing just one more video game. Hey grandma. Even the smallest action in your day can make a big difference. It's like dropping a tiny pebble in a lake. The ripples can travel further than you could ever imagine. When you let God be all you need in every breath, the power of God's Spirit can truly help you make waves. Then others will see God at work in you. That's why making waves is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. All the things of summer that we want to do Barbecue, chicken, go in a canoe 
build a sand castle until it's through. Summer skies are so blue. <laughs> so, 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 so and so, so and so. Welcome to the so and so show. So and so, so and so. Summer at the so and so show. Take it. <laughs> Straight up in the sky with a homemade jetpack What could go awry like the fuse? Summer skies are so blue So, 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 so and so So and so Welcome to the so and so ah! So and so And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. You know, it's hard to believe it's already July. I know. Have you done anything fun yet? <laughs> Have I done anything fun yet? Well, just yesterday I had a cookout with all my friends, oh. and we had fireworks and burgers and oh. hot dogs. We even had potato sack races. Oh, and a pie eating contest. That sounds amazing. Oh, it was. In fact, I have a piece of pie right here. Oh well, thanks, buddy. No. <laughs> what? It's not for you. It's not. Wait, what? No, you weren't at the cookout. No, I, well, that's because you didn't invite me. Because I invited you last year and you didn't come. Well, I might have this year. <laughs> Would you? No. See? No, look, I had things to do. I couldn't get out. Ha! Huh? What? Ha <laughs> ha! What, what? I actually saw you out. Oh. You drove by my house in your car and you just kept driving by without stopping or anything. I waved at you. And you didn't wait back. I had to get to the grocery store before it closed. It was two o'clock in the afternoon. It takes me a long time to pick out cheese. You didn't wait, Brandon. You didn't wait. You acted like I wasn't even there. You were so unkind. Well, you're being unkind for not sharing pie. If I'm not sharing pie because you didn't wait. I mean, I, it's just basic manners. It, did someone say manners? <laughs> No, 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 it's my job. Stop it! I'm the one with manners! No, you're not! I say please and thank you! Ah! Yes, thank you! Oh, won't you sit down? Oh my. What a predictable mint I have stumbled upon. Brandon wouldn't even wave at me, Melinda. Oh my. At a cookout I wasn't even invited to. Oh He's my. He's been invited before, but he doesn't show up. Oh my, no more. It seems we have a classic escalating manners quandary. Communication is key, gentlemen. When you fail to use your words like please and thank you and salted curds, you will find you've made a mistake that will lead to heartache and sometimes acid reflux. But talk to your doctor about that. Now, it sounds like Brandon is upset at being left out. Yes. And John, you are upset because you've felt ignored. That's right. Well... I think we both could have exhibited some kindness. I, I guess I could have invited you again, even though you probably would have missed it because of cheese. And I guess I should have waved when I drove by your house. Well, why didn't you? Well, because I never know what to do with my hands. Here, watch. Oh, 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 that is troubling. Oh, a manly wave is very important to let someone know you care and that you see them. I believe I have something that might help. Mm. Let's see. Oh. oh, no, not that. Let's keep going. Okay. Oh, not that. Oh, I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, let's get these things out of the way. Okay. Oh, not. 
are, there it is, 101 waves that can change the world. Uh, change the world? Well, maybe not overnight, but when you wave to someone and they feel seen, that will lead to them waving to someone else. Oh. Kindness can't solve all the world's problems, but it certainly doesn't hurt. <laughs> Wave number 72, the windmill of joy. Oh. Stand up, please. And the desk is gone. Was it supposed to disappear? Yes. But it's still gone. Oh, Amazing! Wow. I don't know how I do it. Well, we just... Well, now the windmill of joy starts with your right hand mm -hmm. on your left hip. And then you say, hello! Hello! <laughs> how does that feel? Uh, great. Oh, great. That's great. Let's do another one. Oh, very well. Number 27, the porpoise. The porpoise. Your hand is in the ocean and it starts swimming. Oh, nice. How do you do? <laughs> and finally, number 97, uh -huh. the look at me. Hello, hello, hey, hi. Hi there, hello, hello. 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 hi. hello. I believe my work here is done. Well, thank you, Melinda. Yes, thank you. How lovely. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what? It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, gents? Hello! Hey, Colin! Hey! Hello! Are you all okay? Define okay. Fair. So, I've got a Bible story for you today, but I'm hoping I could use your heads. You got it! Then join me for another edition of Human Head Puppet Theater! <laughs> Our story today is from the book of Luke. A law expert wanted to test Jesus, so he asked them a question. What must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus asked the man, what is written in the law? And the expert replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus told him, that was the right answer. But then the man asked, who is my neighbor? So Jesus told this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when suddenly robbers attacked him. <laughs> hey, give me all your money. What? Yes, you wanna do this the hard way? No. Ah, no. Oh. Oh. Give me all oh, right. I give me oh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, did I actually hurt you? No, no, I'm fine. I was just acting. Wow, that was really good acting, Brandon. Yeah! 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 And give me your clothes uh, as well! No! no. Ah, not my cloak! Yeah. Not my cloak! Oh, Please don't take what my cloak! What is this fast oh. oh. gold glitz, sir? Oh. Oh. I am almost <sighs> The robbers left the man who was nearly dead. But I'm not. Now, a priest was coming down the same road. He was a very religious person. Surely he would help. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Uh, Ew, gross! I can't look! Help me! Oh, still alive! Please. 
I need you to stop talking. I might start to feel guilty. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm in a bit of a rush. I, you'll have to excuse me. No. No, no. The priest walked by the man on the other side of the road and left him there. Good luck. I don't believe in luck, so God bless you. Just not me. Oh. Then someone else came, a Levite, an expert in God's law. Surely he would help. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. I'm oh, old. Man. Oh, how disgusting. Oh, don't look at me. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that was a close one. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Now, where was I? Oh, right. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. I'm walking, walking, walking. Two people, both very religious, probably highly regarded and respected in their community, they both refused to help the man in need. One last person walked by, a Samaritan. Now, an important thing to know is that the Jewish people and the Samaritans, they did not get along. You could say they even hated each other. So it was so surprising when this happened. Oh, oh. Oh, wow, uh, you look terrible. Hey, let me take a look. Uh, oh, they roughed you up pretty good there. Uh, hey, hey, hold on. I'll be right back. Uh, uh, okay, I'm back. Um, I'm uh, just going to put a little olive oil and a little wine on your wounds. Okay. There you go. Ah, it stings. I, I know, I know, but it's supposed to help clean out those wounds. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a bandage on you. So, okay. Up, up. Okay, uh, here we go. These are... Okay, there, there, okay. Oh, hurry, please. <laughs> All right, I'll just put you here on my donkey. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, 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 Chris. oh thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, are you ready to go? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hold okay. on. Okay. <laughs> the Samaritan took the man to an inn and gave the innkeeper money to take yes. care of him. And then he agreed to pay for any extra expenses to help the man. The Samaritan did all of this for a stranger. After telling the story, Jesus turned to the law expert and asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked? What do you think? Was it the priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? The law expert replied, the one who felt sorry for him. And Jesus said, go and do as he did. The end. Great job, fellas. Thanks, Kellen, you too. Yeah, that was a great story. I loved how the person to help the man was the one least expected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Most of the time, it's easy to love people that we're close to or feel comfortable around. But Jesus' story reminds us that we should show kindness, not just to the people we know, but to everyone. And the Holy Spirit can help us do that. The kindness that God requires of us is life-changing. It's a kindness that makes things right. And that's what we get to do as Jesus followers, get to be a part of helping God make things right. I love it. Thanks, Kellen. Hey, see you next time. You know it. Later. Later. Man, Jesus really threw that law expert a curveball. Yeah, it's, it's easy to think about our neighbors as the people that live near us or the people who are like us. But Jesus wants us to be kind to everyone, even when it's hard. So, reveal, reveal the question. question! How can you be kind even when it's hard? Right, it, it might be hard to be kind to your little brother or sister because they keep bugging you. You know, maybe play a game they want to play and let them make the rules. Maybe it's hard to be kind to someone because they aren't being kind to you. Mm. You could try talking to them or find out if there's anything they want or need. Yeah, yeah. It might seem harder to be kind to someone that's different from you. But if we live like Jesus wants us to, we're going to look for ways to show kindness to everyone, even when it's hard. So talk about it with each other. How can you be kind even when it's hard? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. <gasps> Goodbye! Go higher. Ooh, ah! 
That's definitely the end. The boomerang. Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Hey. Oh, nice. Hey. 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 The Doppler effect. Oh. Hello. Yeah. Hey. The water slide. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 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 Fifteen. The trout. Oh. oh. You know the trout. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. You're like this. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man, this is the longest trip. <laughs> <laughs>